So what can I say about Aretha Franklin? Not a lot that you don't already know, really. A music legend, of course. Aretha was a singer, songwriter and pianist. The Queen of Soul. Rolling Stone named her the greatest singer of all time, not once but twice. She, abso she is absolutely one of the world's best-selling music artists. She has sold over 75 million records across the globe. She won 18 Grammy Awards, amongst others. She was one of five children. She was born in Memphis in 1942. She moved to New York when she was two years. And by the time she was five years old, the family were living in Detroit. Her mother died when Aretha was 10 years old. So Aretha gave birth to a child when she was 12 years old. And she was pregnant again at the age of 14 years old. There were nasty rumours at one time that her father was responsible for one of the pregnancies. Absolutely refuted by Aretha, of course. So Aretha's father was Reverend Clarence Franklin and he was minister of the New Bethel Baptist Church in Detroit. Aretha started her singing as a child and she would sing gospel in the church. She would perform with her father on his gospel programs in major cities throughout the country. And at the age of 14 years old, she made her first album, Spirituals. That was in 1956. At the age of 18, she was signed by Columbia Records. But her commercial success came when she was signed by Atlantic Records in 1966. In 1967, she released the single Respect. And that song ranks the top five songs of the 20th century. She left Atlantic and signed with Arista Records in 1979. By that time, she had released 19 albums. It was in 1979 that her father was shot twice by home invaders. After the shooting, he was in a coma and remained in that coma until death in 1984. In 1987, she was the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And in 1991, she was recipient of the Grammy Legend Award. In 1994, she won the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. In 2003, she released her final studio album with Arista Records. She left the label to found her own label, Aretha Records. But it wasn't until 2011 that she released her debut album with her own label. In about 2005, she was the second woman ever to be inducted into the UK Music Hall of Fame. In 2008, she won the Grammy Music Cares Award, Person of the Year Award. In total, Aretha was in the music business for nearly 60 years. She released 38 studio albums and six live albums. She had 20 number one hits. So some of her most famous songs include Respect in 1967, I Say a Little Prayer in 1968, Chain of Falls in 1967. She has performed with so many brilliant singers over the years, including George Michael, Elton John, Whitney Houston, James Brown, Luther Van Dross, and well, the list goes on and on. Her final public performance was on the 7th of November 2017 in New York. She had been ill for some time before that. She died on the 16th of August 2018 from pancreatic cancer. Her sisters Irma and Caroline were also amazing singers and have provided backup vocals for Aretha. Beautiful Irma V. Franklin, 1938 to 
it's amazing to be able to visit and pay my respects to you all. A very talented family, a very beautiful family. And there's the wonderful Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, 1942 to 2018. And her father is there. Wow. This is why I tell the story outside, because it's so peaceful and quiet in here. I don't want to be gobbing off throughout. Reverend Clarence Franklin. Nineteen fifteen to nineteen eighty four. He had such a tragic death. It's far too young. And there is our Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. We all we all know her music, don't we? We've all grown up with it mostly. We've been hearing it for years. Quite humble to be here. Rest in peace, Aretha. Rev. Clarence, rest in peace. And it's just the other side of this wall that um, Aretha's two sisters are at rest as well. <laughs> 